Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe. The subscription button is the red button down below and it's free of charge. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, please leave your opinions in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Breaking news, President Tinobu scraps Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs, and here is why. Government sources on Thursday told Sahara reporters that the Ministry of Niger Delta was scrapped by the President because there is also the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC. The sources noted that following the scrapping of the Ministry of Niger Delta, all the works and duties previously men mandated to the Ministry will be moved to the NDDC. Tinobu has scrapped the Ministry of Niger Delta. It was done because there is a Niger Delta Development Commission, so it is like they are deplocating efforts. Now all works done by the Ministry of Niger Delta will be moved to the NDDC, one of the sources said. President Tinubu on Wednesday released a list of his ministers and their portfolios. The president also created some new ministries while the names of some existing ministries have been modified including the, including the Ministry of Environment and Ecological Management, Ministry of Marine and Blue Economy, Ministry of Health and Social Welfare, Ministry of Aviation and Aerospace Development, and the Ministry of Gas Resources. There is also the Ministry of Communications, Innovation and Digital Economy, which used to be called Ministry of Communications and Digital Economy, the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development is now the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Elevation and will be headed by Beta Edu. The Ministry of Youth and Sports Development had been split into two ministry into two. Ministry of Youth and Ministry of Sports Development. In May, Senator Oji Uzokalu called on President Tinubu to scrap the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs. He described the works of the ministry as a duplicate of the Niger Delta Development Commission. Some of the ministries and parastators that are no longer viable, like the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs and some other ministries that are not viable should be scrapped. We have the Niger Delta Development Commission, like we have the North East Development Commission, so the Ministry of Niger Delta should be scrapped, he said. You all let me have your thoughts in the comment section. Let's not forget also that President Tinubu is now the Minister for Petroleum Resources. So he's following the footsteps of his predecessor, just like what Tinubu, uh, Buhari, pardon me, just like what Buhari did. Tinubu is now the Minister for Petroleum Resources. And I think that one major reason why this is so is that, you know, the embezzlement, we've seen in the past how, you know, former ministers of petroleum resources have been charged with corruption like not not be small corruption or big one the last woman i think that occupied that seat is in know elise madweki the woman who even at jewelry reserve was going to millions of naira if not billions of naira you know corruption allegation and all of that i think that is what bobo harry and tinobu's administration is avoiding and also let's talk about the niger delta uh, ministry also how do you have niger delta development commission the nddc and then you have ministry of uh, ministry of niger delta it's like this two is just the same thing this two is the same thing, and i'm so happy that finally the ministry of niger delta have, have been scrapped you know 
now NDDC knows that they are the ones that are solely that are solely invested you know with the role of you know developing the niger delta area and not you know sharing their responsibilities with the ministry of uh niger delta thank god for that you know these are ways that uh government have been losing money in the past we all know about the scenario of off your mic off your mic off your mic that happened then you know involving apabio and that woman where she wanted to vomit, you know, secrets. She already said that two people, the senators, you are the you are the ones that are are, are benefiting, you know, from contracts. You know, the, the contracts that we give out give out. You are the ones that collect the contracts. She was told to offer Mike before she would spill before she would spill secrets. And that man as well that fainted because he was asked to come and give account of how billions of nairas have been spent. So it's better now that we know that the NDCC are the ones in charge instead of having a separate ministry for that. You know, money, money are not being, is not being wasted. And I like the fact that, you know, new ministries are being created. For example, we have, uh, instead of saying Ministry of Women Affairs, we now have Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, which is very good. Instead of tying youth and sports development together, we, we now have them as separate, you know, ministries because sports deserves a lot more attention than we've been giving it in the past. And I hope that now that we now have a separate ministry for that, you know, we now, you know, our sportsmen and women are now being treated better. Let me also mention that these... Uh, well, the women team, the Super Falcons that represented us at the World Cup, instead of, you know, uh, the FIFA team sending down their money to, to Nigeria here for them to be paid, they said, no, we are not going to do that this time around. We are going to send the money directly to the players' accounts. Why did they do that? Because they know the long history. You know, these players will come back home and they will not start begging for their money. Months after months, they will not be paid. And even when they are paid, you know, the the people in charge of, of sports here in Nigeria would have removed some certain percentage. So these players are not even getting the, the whole money, that have been, the full money, you know, that have been promised to them that, or that, 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 that will be coming down from FIFA. So I'm so glad that, you know, that happened. And then we also have Ministry of Communications, Innovation, and Digital Economy. That is very important. That is very, that is very good that we now have that. Now we have Ministry of Marine and Blue Economy, which is also very good. I'm so happy that Nigeria is looking towards, you know, marine development in the country. You all, let me have your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you very much for always listening and watching. I love you all. I'll see you in my next video.